are given an equation y squared minus 1 dx plus 2xy minus 9y dy. First is to prove that this equation is exact. An exact equation has the form of From this, we can see that our n is equal to y squared minus 1. And n is equal to 2xy minus sine y. First step is to partial differentiate m with respect to y. and partial differentiating n with respect to x. So, with respect to y, m is 2y, while n is, using the product rule, 2y times the derivative of x, just 1, plus the derivative of 2y, which is 0, times x, minus the derivative of sine y, which is also 0, so it is only 2y. So, the partial differentiation of m with respect to y, that is m, is just equal to the partial differentiation of m with respect to x. Therefore, this differential equation is exact. Next step is to find the function of u using the equation integral of m dx plus k of y. Substituting, we have m is equal to y squared minus 1 dx integral of that plus k of y. That this is equal to y squared minus 1 as constant times x plus k prime y. Next, we distribute this u. So, xy squared minus x plus k prime y. Next is to partial differentiate u with respect to y. This is 2y times x minus plus 0 times 0 plus k prime of y. Next step is to equate partial differentiation of u with respect to y of n. Substituting we have 2yx plus k prime of y equal to our n, which is 2xy minus sine y. 2xy is present on both sides, so we can cancel this term. We are left with k prime of y equal to negative sine y. Integrating this, we get k of y. So negative sine y integral is equal to cosine y plus c. We substitute this k of y to our function of u. So this is equal to function of u xy is equal to xy squared minus x plus cosine of y, which is our k of y, plus our c. So we solve for c, this is xy squared minus x plus cosine of y. We can check our answer by getting the derivative of our c. This is to 
to d c over d x is equal to zero. Applying product rule, we have two x y y prime plus y squared derivative of x is one. So just y squared minus one. The derivative of cosine y is negative sine y y prime. Now we gather all y primes. So we have two x y minus sine y quantity y prime plus y squared minus one equals zero. So two x y minus sine y dy plus y squared minus 1 dx equal to 0. This is our given equation. So, therefore, our solution is correct.